こんにちは。Hello, my name is Mayumi Wright. I'm your host for Taste Prep. Each show, I will walk you through some of my favorite recipes that I know you will enjoy. If you love food as much as I do, you will want to subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Konnichiwa! Hello everyone, welcome to Taste Prep. Today we're making kombucha. I've been making kombucha for five years. I love it so much that I have experimented in many ways to make very good kombucha. This is what you need for making kombucha. You will need a SCOBY. SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. A mason jar, big enough to hold two cups of tea. Kettle, two cups of hot water, three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of caffeinated loose tea leaves of your choice. Now for non-carbonated infused kombucha, you will need about a half cup of cut fruit of your choice. For carbonated kombucha, you will need three tablespoons of fruit juice of your choice and also a recycled kombucha bottle. So here's what you need for making kombucha. You will need a SCOBY. I'm going to put it in an empty mason jar. And SCOBY looks like this. And you will need two cups of hot water going to a kettle. One tablespoon of caffeinated loose tea, of tea leaves of your choice. Mine is silver needle tea. I love this tea so much because it's high in antioxidant. That goes in there. And also, you will need three tablespoons of sugar. I know it sounds a lot, but you will need those so that SCOBY can grow and make kombucha. Make sure you stir well that sugar dissolves all the way and let it steep for three minutes. I have this tea that's already in the room temperature, so I'm gonna pour this tea into a mason jar. You do not want to pour a hot tea into a mason jar, it will crack and also the scoby will die. Now make sure you cover with cloth or paper towel so that the fruit fly doesn't go in there. And then I use the rubber band to secure it. And I'm going to let it sit for five days in the summertime maybe seven days in the winter time, depending on the weather. And when you know it's ready, make sure you taste it. And if it's not too vinegary, it's ready for a second fermentation. So this is the phase one of making kombucha. Now we're gonna go into the second phase of making kombucha. Now we're in second phase of making kombucha. First of all, I'm going to taste to see if this kombucha is ready. It's been sitting under the sink for four days now. It's summertime, so I'm going to make sure that it's not um, too vinegary. I'm going to taste it. Yes, it's slightly acidic. 
not over sweetened so I think this kombucha is ready so for non carbonated um, kombucha I have added a half cup of cut fruit today I'm using the peach it's in season now so we're gonna add ready-made kombucha in here and put a lid and leave it in the refrigerator for two hours until it's cool now it's ready to drink just like that and you can also eat the fruit okay now we're going to make a carbonated kombucha so what you need is empty recycled um, cleaned kombucha bottle and i highly recommend the screw top kombucha bottle because you don't want uh, the kombucha will ferment in the bottle and you don't want the bottle to explode so first I'm gonna add kombucha in here I'm gonna bring it up to right below this shoulder Going in all the way just below. Okay, now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of fruit juice. Today I'm using peach. I squeeze the juice out by using my favorite cold press juicer. So the juice is very thick, going in slowly. Now I'm going to mix it first. And it looks like it went too much, so I'm going to take out some. You want to leave a room for carbonation to happen. Just a little bit more. That should be good. Okay, now once you put a lid, make sure it's tight so that the carbonation doesn't escape from the bottle. Keep this in the room temperature for two days and before you drink it, put it in the refrigerator so the bottle is nice and cold. Okay, so that's how you make kombucha. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you very much. See you next time. Sayonara.